I received several questions about the set proofing language in PowerPoint. And so I created a video series. And if you are new to this feature, set proofing language enables spell check and grammar check in a different language from your default language. But many users are frustrated because they missed the most important step and that's installing the proofing tools. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Make sure you watch step two video because I'm going to show you how to apply the proofing tools in PowerPoint. And then the third video, which is really important because I'm going to talk about the behaviors with the proofing tools and placeholders versus text and shape boxes, which sometimes also don't work properly for you by design. So let's dive right into this video and let's start installing these proofing tools. I have PowerPoint open and I'm actually in the Windows version or the desktop version. I do have the business um, subscription of Microsoft 365 and how do I know if my language is installed or not? If I highlight this information because I've already downloaded the German um, proofing tools, I'm gonna just highlight this area and activate the spell check by pressing F7. If I scroll to the bottom of the screen, I can actually look and see which spelling tools that's already downloaded. English was there by default. I did, um, French was already here. I didn't download it. And Spanish was here as well. Now, I had to download German. So if you don't see that language here, you want to take the next step into installing and downloading it onto your computer. So let me show you how to do that. Click on the review tab, select language and language preferences. Once you get here, I want to make sure you know, do not start adding language at the top because this will change all your language in your buttons and your menus and all your controls. So make sure you do nothing there. Now you see German here. I didn't put that there and I did not add it. Microsoft did it for me autom um, automatically once I download it. In the second area, this is where you're actually downloading the proofing tools um, such for, you know, for spelling and grammar. Go ahead and add a language choose one, and then make sure you click on get proofing tools and press the add button. Now, before you press okay, make sure that this button is checked. This is making sure that you, whatever you, um, proofing languages that you download, it's gonna be available to you in the cloud as well. So you wanna do that and go ahead and press okay. Now, once you start downloading, you're going to get a prompt and it's going to say, we are preparing to install your new language. After you click OK, it will begin downloading. If you have any applications open, it's going to give you a warning, give you enough time to actually save your information and close it all out. And then once you press continue, it will start to download. I noticed that it down, um, closed out my PowerPoint window and then reopened it automatically for me. And I went to check to see if the information was downloaded. When I reviewed, it said proofing available. If you get that status, it has not downloaded yet. Now it took about an hour. I was a little impatient, wasn't sure it was doing something. So I went and removed it and re-added it. And eventually it did um, show up. What you want to make sure you see as a status is proofing installed. Once you see that, then you can begin the next step. Okay, so go ahead and start installing your language and I'll see you in the next video.